gear shifter. This is all messed up. This car only has about 80,000 miles, so it's surprising that it's such a bad shape. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Snowpro Car Guide channel. In today's quick video, we're going to be replacing the shifter on my Fiat 500 Abarth. This entire process shouldn't take you more than 5 minutes, and all you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver to take off the little cap on the top, and then a 10 millimeter socket just to take the bolt out. Once you have that out, uh, you're going to pull on the shifter, it will click out, and then it's still going to be attached to the actual shifter boot, that leathery part on the bottom. You're going to have to pull it out by force. Uh, it took me probably two to three minutes to get it fully out. So I cut that part out a little bit just to speed up the video. Uh, but once it's out, uh, you're ready to install the new one. Here you can clearly see why I'm replacing the old one. It's ripped, the leather's peeling off. And even though the new one isn't perfect, I only paid like $20 for it. So it's definitely worth it to me. Uh, the first clip of this video was from my initial Fiat 500 video and you know it kind of really catches your eye when you get in the car that it's so ripped and kind of nasty looking so it was definitely worth switching out uh, on my side. Now to get the new shifter in it's gonna take a little bit of uh, force so I use a screwdriver uh, the same flathead and kind of wrap it around the shifter that little ledge there and twist it as it's kind of coming kind of like you put a you know a chain a bicycle chain on same concept you kind of spin it on and that should work pretty well for you also as you can see i removed the shifter boot uh, from its base uh, just so i could lift it up a little bit that way it was easier for me to get it high enough to where i could put it on the shifter without having to struggle with it as much The only stuff that's left is to put the bolt back in, make sure the shifter is being held in securely, and then you put the little cap back on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you subscribe to the channel as my little Fiat Abarth is ready to be put on the road, which means I'm going to be making a lot more videos.